Good morning, my dear class 8 students. Today, we are here to start a new chapter. That is chapter 9, Algebraic Expressions and Identities. An algebraic expression is an expression built up from integer constants, variables and the algebraic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. For example, you have 3x plus 2y plus 4z. This is the algebraic expression given as example in your note. That is 3x plus 2y plus 4z. Now, tell me what are known as terms. The terms in this expression are 3x, 2y and 4z. Which are the terms? 3x, 2y and 4z. The number written along with the variable is known as coefficient. So, what is the coefficient of x? The coefficient of x is 3. What is the coefficient of y? The coefficient of y is 2. What is the coefficient of z? The coefficient of z is 4. Okay? So, you learn what is an expression, what is a term and what are the factors and what is the coefficient of each variable. Clear? Now, what are the types of expressions? These are the types of expressions. Monomial, binomial, trinomial, polynomial. Okay? You can see the definition from the names itself. Mono means one. The expressions that contain only one term is known as monomial. For example, 3x. Here in the 3x only one term is there. So we can call it as monomial. Second example is minus 2y. Minus 2y. That means here only one term is there in this expression. So such type of expressions are known as monomial. Next is binomial. Expressions that contain exactly two terms are known as binomials. For example, 3x plus 2y. The first term is 3x. Second term is 2y. Here, 4a minus 3b. First term is 4a. Second term is minus 3b. Second term is minus 3b. How many terms are there? 1, 2. So, 2 terms. 1, 2, 2 terms. So, expressions that contain exactly 2 terms are known as binomial. So, can you tell me how will you define trinomials? Expressions that contain exactly 3 terms are known as trinomials. Expressions that contain exactly 3 terms are known as Trinomials. So, what are po polynomials? All together, they are known as polynomials. Polynomials are expression that contains one or more terms. Monomial is a polynomial. Binomial is a polynomial. Trinomial is a polynomial. Okay. So, polynomial definition is an expression containing one or more terms are known as polynomials. Hope you understood the basic concepts that we deal in algebraic expressions. The next one is like terms and unlike terms. Like terms and unlike terms. Students, you have heard this in the previous class. Like terms are the terms in which you have the same variables. And unlike terms are those terms which have different variables. Let us see a few examples. And subtraction of algebraic expressions. Let us revise one question from addition. Your question is add 4x cube minus 4xy plus 3x 
plus sorry minus 5y and 5xy minus 6x cube plus 6y minus 2x. First write the expressions in an order. Students I have written the first expression. Now I will tell you how to reorder the second expression. 5xy it is plus 5xy. You will write it below minus 4xy. Next term here is minus 6x cube. Where will you write? You will write minus 6x cube below 4x cube. That is minus 6x cube. Next plus 6y. Where will you write below? Minus 5y plus 6y. Minus 2x below plus 3x minus 2x that is you are going to add 4 plus minus 6 4 plus minus 6 it is minus 2x cube clear minus 4 plus plus 5 that is plus 1xy Plus 3x plus minus 2x. 3 minus 2 plus 1x. Minus 5y plus 6y plus 1y. Students, remember the rule that you have learnt in integers to do this problem. Clear? Because you have positive numbers and negative numbers. So, you should apply the Addition rule of integers. Let's see the second question. Now we are going to discuss the questions from subtraction. Students, this is your question. Subtract 4a minus 7ab plus 3b plus 12 from 12a minus 9ab plus 5b minus 3. Students, whenever I started teaching you, I have told you that whatever comes after from, you should write first. In the case of subtraction problems, whatever comes after from, you should write first. Now, I will show you what did I do. This from, after from, this expression comes. So, I will write it first. 12a minus 9ab plus 5b minus 3 minus subtract 4a minus 7ab plus 3b plus 12. The next procedure is you will write the first bracket as such. Change the subtraction sign to addition sign and Write the additive inverse of the second bracket. Now, once again, the first bracket as such, there is no change in the first bracket. Subtraction sign changed to addition sign and all the signs inside the bracket has changed. Here, 4a is having plus sign. It changed it to negative sign. Minus 7ab became plus 7ab, plus 3b changed to minus 3b, plus 12 changed to minus 12. Now, this is an addition problem. This is an addition problem. You can do it like this. Now, children, I have rearranged it. 12a minus 9ab plus 5b minus 3 minus 4a plus 7ab minus 3b minus 12. Students, I am using this statement to write this. Okay, this changed statement to write this. Now, what will you do? Using rule of addition in integers, I will do this. 12 minus 4, 8. Minus 9 plus 7. One number is negative. The other number is positive. 
you will subtract and give larger number sign. So 9 minus 7, 2, larger number sign is negative. Here also, one number is positive, the other number is negative, you will subtract and give larger number sign. So 5 minus 3, 2. Both the numbers are negative. Both the numbers are negative, so you will add and give the same sign. That is the rule which I taught you in integers. So the final answer is 8a minus 2ab plus 2b minus 15. For multiplication of algebraic expressions. The first topic is multiplying a monomial by a monomial. Let us see how you are going to multiply two monomials and what are the changes that comes to the variables. The first question. Find the product of the following pairs of monomials. Find the product of the following pairs of monomials. First question is 4 and 7p. Here the numbers are 4 and 7 and the variable here is p. You will multiply the numbers 4 into 7, 28 and you will write p along with the number. Next question is minus 4p and 7p. Which are the numbers that you can see here? It is minus 4 and 7. Multiply both. Minus 4 into 7 is minus 28. Now what are the variables p and p? p into p, p square. p into p, p square. Third question, minus 4p and 7p cube. Which are the numbers here? Minus 4 and 7. So, multiply minus 4 and 7. The answer is minus 28. Here you have a minus sign here. Then, p into p cube. p into p cube. Now, what will you do with p and p cube? p into p p square q you will write as such p into p p square q you will write as such now this is the final answer minus 28 p square q minus 28 p square q next question is find the areas of rectangles with the following pairs of monomials as their length and breadth respectively. That is, length is given as a monomial, breadth is also given as a monomial. You should multiply it and find the area of the rectangle. Second question, 3mn and 4np. Length is 3mn, breadth is 4np. Length is 3mn. Breadth is 4np. Area is length into breadth. 3mn into 4np. 3 into 4, 12. 3 into 4, 12. m. Single. So m. n into n, n square. n into n, n square. And then p. So the final answer is 12 m n square p. The question is obtain the volume of rectangular boxes with the following length, breadth and height respectively. The first question 5 a 3 a square 7 a raised to 4. Here Length is 5a, breadth is 3a square, height is 7a raised to 4. Length is 5a, breadth is 3a square, height is 7a raised to 4. Multiply all the three numbers, so you will get the volume. What is the volume of a rectangular box? Length into breadth into height. That is... 5a into 
थ्री ए स्क्वायर इंटू सेवन ए रेस टू फोर स्टूडेंट्स आई हैव टोल्ड यू फर्स्ट मल्टीप्लाई द नंबर्स फाइव इंटू थ्री फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन इंटू सेवन इट इज वन नॉट फाइव दैट इज वन हंड्रेड एंड फाइव देन मल्टीप्लाई ए ए स्क्वायर ए रेस टू फोर दैट इज हियर ए इज हैविंग वन ए इज हैविंग टू ए इज हैविंग फोर सो एड द नंबर्स फोर प्लस टू सिक्स सिक्स प्लस वन सेवन फोर प्लस टू सिक्स सिक्स प्लस वन सेवन 